What's up, YouTube? What's up, Brady Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Brady Kid 24 here, bringing you free agency day one video. Happy NFL League New Year. Uh, free agency started off with the boom, but before that, um, players and agents and teams were able to talk to each other, I guess, starting on Saturday. And to me, it was bullshit. I hate the process. Uh, it's just And because of that, it, it all leaked on social media, and we already knew where players like Ndamukong Sue and Randall Cobb were going, and and um, Julius Thomas, and all this, all this other BS. It really sucks, uh, in my opinion. So yes, Ndamukong Sue is going to the Dolphins. Apparently, the deal, it's not official. The deal is still being worked out as of right now. Uh, but his contract is ridiculous. Uh, it's it's a quarterback contract. He won't live up to it. But yeah, so. Before the Raider Nation freaks out and panics and just blames Reggie McKenzie and the Raiders for not doing anything and not getting these guys, let me explain to you why they didn't and why it's a good thing they didn't. Well, first off, we were being used as leverage. How do I know that? It's, it's obvious. How many people do you know want to come play for the Raiders? As much as it sucks for me to say this, and I hate it when people bring it up, but maybe what they say is true, that players come to Oakland to die. Their careers are over, and they just come here to collect a check, and that's it. And it's sad, it's not fair to us, it's not fair to the team, but that's, it seems like that's what it is. And people were using that, agents and players were using that to boost up. Um, look at Julius Thomas, we were in a big play for him, so were the Seahawks, and he ended up going to the Jaguars, getting nine-something million dollars a year. Which is too much, and that's another thing about why it's not I mean, why it's a good thing that we didn't sign some of these players. Their contracts are ridiculous. And Donovan Sue's contract, he won't live up to it. Uh, Julius Thomas's contract is more than Jimmy Graham's, who was traded to the Seattle Seahawks, which is crazy. Uh, so, with that being said, crazy. And a player who I wasn't expecting this uh, out of, and um, I really wanted, was. Terrence Knight, Pot Rose, we all know Pot Rose. That was one guy we really wanted. He came out and said he would be, he wants to be where Del Real is. Well, we offered him a very reasonable and good contract, and the asshole turned us down. Said he, he wanted more than what we were offering. We were offering something around five mil, forty-five, uh, five mil. I'm so stupid. Five mil a year almost, uh, five year, forty some million dollar, twenty million dollar guaranteed contract, and that's right at his value at the age of twenty-eight, and. Uh, for his play style and what he is and what you do with him, that's a perfect contract. And some maybe even say that's too much, uh, but he wants more. So he came out and said that Denver and Oakland are out of the races, and since then we haven't heard anything about him. But I'm gonna end the, you know, end on that note with all these other free agents that we're losing. Just think deeper into the picture about it before you guys get upset and get mad and blame Reggie about this. I'll explain why, uh, what he's trying to do after I just. I, under, I get it now. I understand. So, we signed Rodney Hudson. No, yes. Rodney Hudson, a former Kansas City Chief. He is the center. We got him for five years, $44 million deal. This was brought up around Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon, somewhere around that. This is the player I wanted if we lost Wiz. This kid is should be great. Should be great at one point. He could be a, has the potential. He's a good pickup. I really like this signing. This was a good signing, guys. Um, and then after his signing, the free agency af actually started, you know, today at 1 o'clock our time. And that's when the cookies started really rolling. Teams started signing players. Trades started happening. Foles to the, the Rams and Rams trading Sam Bradford. Crazy. That could affect us in the draft, but that's for another video. We signed ex-Super Bowl MVP Malcolm Smith. I loved it. I love this pickup. Bryce Butler actually hinted at this last night on Twitter. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to get my hopes up after being let down with Sue and Cobb and Thomas. Uh, I just didn't want to get my hopes up anymore. So, this signing is good. Uh, great. He's a very versatile young linebacker, as you know. His rookie year winning Super Bowl MVP. He, he's already won a championship. But he's reuniting with Ken Norton Jr. Makes sense. This is good. You know, he could possibly start at middle linebacker. I love it. Then we go on to sign Lee Smith, tight end for the Buffalo Bills, now a Raider. He's a blocking tight end. We got him for three years, nine mil, so about um, roughly three million a year, which is not a bad contract, which is really good for his type uh, of playing 
and that's just blocking, really. He's a blocking tight end. We can use him on a lot of different sets. We don't have a blocking tight end. Michael Rivera, not really. He was getting better his blocking, but he's more of a receiver. And um, this that, that was not a bad pickup. People were kind of going apeshit on it. Uh, but I, I like it. Not too bad. And then another signing that happened not too long ago, Roy Hulu Jr., uh, former Redskins, two-year deal, four mil. These are very cheap, except for the Hudson. That was a that was a big contract. These two other ones are very cheap. And this kid right here, and I'm seeing this everywhere on Twitter. You can go look it up. They're saying he's the most underrated running back in the game. And there's no doubt about it. He is very dynamic. He can catch outside the backfield. That's what he probably is going to be, is he's going to be a re receiving running back for us. As uh, we still have Latavius Murray, who's our featured back as of right now. Um... But those are the signings, not a lot, but there are players expected to meet with us tonight, and that includes Jermaine Gresham, tight end, uh, former uh, Bengals. I mentioned him in the last video. Dan Williams, defensive tackle uh, from the Cardinals, and Curtis Lofton, linebacker from the Saints. Now, all these guys right here, I would be happy with if we signed. Jermaine Gresham, add more depth at the tight end position. Dan Williams, who is just like Pot Roast in my opinion, just two years younger, could come a whole lot cheaper than Pot Roast wants. Go get him. And Curtis Lofton, we don't have a middle linebacker as of right now. We can use a middle linebacker. And uh, he's not that old of age. He's, I think he's at 28. And why not? He has some injury issues in the past, but it's another one. It'd be like a signing like last year. I think this would be the only one that you can, could compare it to last year's signing. But not bad. Uh, could use a vet just until we can get our feet wet. We haven't touched wide receiver after Cobb is gone, Macklin's gone. I knew Macklin. Macklin went to the Chiefs, by the way, and so did Tavon Branch. Uh, but yes, we haven't touched that. We haven't touched the secondary. Uh, there's still players out there like Greg Hardy, who I hope we make a push for. Uh, Traymond Williams, who they're kind of still waiting for the market to appear, maybe sometime tomorrow. But the player we are chasing as of right now, and I have Twitter in front of me just in case anything leaks, anything breaks. It's been kind of quiet for the past hour or two. It's DeMarco Murray. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I'm not a big fan of DeMarco Murray. thought he had a good year behind a great offensive line. But we are in hunt, and uh, if we sign him, I won't be mad. I'll be actually happy. I'll be happy that we probably got a potential elite running back on our team but let me know what you guys think in the comments below about day one are you very disappointed do you understand what reggie's trying to do and what he's trying to do i'll explain it now real quick is uh he's getting young trying to get young players but role role players on the team now in free agency and continuing to build in the draft you build the team he continues to say that all the time but building in the draft and uh, adding those uh role pieces through free agency and whatnot, you can't build a team through free agency, he says. And I guess that shows why, especially if your name is the Oakland Raiders, where teams don't, where players don't really want to come play for you, sadly enough. It hurts my heart to say that. But, guys, yes, if you understand what he's getting, let me know in the comments below. If you're upset, sad, mad, uh, let me know down below. I'll probably come out with another video if something big breaks tomorrow or um, Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, guys. I'm going to go check out uh, Mikey Raider's uh, roundtable right now. Shout out to uh, Raider John, Knight of the Shield, uh, Raiders underscore 1995. And uh, the original Raider 97, welcome to the crew. And uh, good luck in the TTC. Pistol needs the help. Uh, glad to see you out there. And anyways, guys, um, that's my time. I'll catch you all later. Raider Nation, good luck.